Hello, my name is Foreman Fred and I am the Chief Content Assistant at Construction Links Network. The only peer-to-peer -peer digital content sharing platform for the construction, building and design community. Welcome to Dispatch Number 55. This dispatch highlights the news, blog shares, announcements and videos shared on the Construction Links Network over the past week. Currently there are 6,664 searchable news items, articles and blogs published on the Construction Links Network platform and 1,181 videos in the online video gallery for your viewing pleasure including DMC Recruitment Group currently conducting Building Materials Salary Survey DMC Recruitment Group, in association with the Western Retail Lumber Association, is conducting their first ever salary survey, aimed exclusively at sales professionals in the building materials industry. The survey is running for the month of January, with results to be released in April of 2022. Learn more and take the survey on dmcrecruitment.com. Top 5 Construction Trends to Watch for in 2022 With the new year in full swing, Experts are already starting to predict that 2022 will be a difficult year again for the construction industry, with demands for many types of construction set to shrink. The following list describes some trends to keep track of in 2022 as construction continues to see their past problems become more prevalent, ultimately leaving some companies with no choice but to change the way they do things. Read the blog and learn more on ontracer.com. Retaining your rock stars. One of the most prevalent issues that a lot of institutions are dealing with is the amount of people calling in sick. Oftentimes, there's a crowd of people who are willing to serve as fill-ins. They're dependable and dutiful. As a leader, it's important for you to make sure that these specific employees feel appreciated. Watch the video and learn more on nesbittraining.ca. IAPMO supports EPA's Notice of Intent for Water Sense Draft Specification for Point-of-Use Reverse Osmosis Systems. A true public-private partnership, WaterSense is a voluntary program that identifies efficient and high-performing water-consuming products. While EPA spends approximately $3 million a year to administer the program, it has saved consumers more than $33 billion in water and energy bills since the program's inception in 2006. Learn more on IAPMO.org. Last Chance to Register SBC Webinar, Deep Energy Retrofit Thermal Bridging Guide Happening on January 25th with Andrea Pitila and Kathleen Narbonne of RDH. Join SBC for an overview of thermal bridging and a detailed review of the Deep Energy Retrofit Thermal Bridging Guide developed by RDH. This free webinar will provide an overview of best practices to understand heat flow through buildings and minimize thermal bridging and detailed review of the Deep Energy Retrofit Thermal Bridging Guide developed by RDH. Learn more and register on sbcanada.org industry continues to rank Procore project management software number one in 2021. Procore announced this week that it has been ranked as the number one construction project management software by the 2021 JB Knowledge Construction Technology Report. Since 2012, JB Knowledge has surveyed thousands of construction professionals annually to provide a better understanding of the latest industry tech trends and insights. Learn more and download the report on Procore.com. CSA call for interest on energy efficiency assessment of commercial and industrial fan systems. CSA Group Technical Committee, C402 on Energy Efficiency of Industrial Equipment, has sanctioned the publication of a new standard to benchmark the energy efficiency of commercial and industrial fan systems. The intent of this standard is to develop uniform methods to measure and assess the overall efficiency of open and closed loop electric driven fan systems typically used at commercial and industrial facilities learn more on hrai.ca choosing the right radiation shielding factors considered by a shielding materials expert choosing the right material will allow you to save space and use less material a shield of high density concrete can take half the space of regular concrete with the same shielding properties Flexibility of a material is also important to think about when considering the space requirements. Keep reading the blog and learn more on marshield.com. Construction scheduling. What is the most effective way? In today's day and age, there are many different platforms and tools that are designed to streamline construction project scheduling. With each platform comes its own unique pros and cons, but the general consensus is that most of them are likely better than the traditional way of scheduling. Keep reading the blog and learn more on ontracer.com. 
US EPA recognizes IAPMOUES to certify insulations under Energy Star Seal and Insulate program. The US Environment Protection Agency has recognized IAPMO Uniform Evaluation Service to certify insulations under the Energy Star Seal and Insulate program. IAPMOUES is accredited by the ANSI National Accreditation Board as an ISO IEC 17065 certification body to certify numerous building materials, including residential insulation. Learn more on IAPMO.org. Renovation and Expansion of the Canada Museum of Science and Technology in Ottawa The Museum of Science and Technology of Canada, as we once knew, was forced to close its doors in 2014 following the opening of the presence of mold. A renovation project was then necessary to eliminate these contaminants allowing the institute to get a new look, redevelop the exhibition space and add a new main entrance. Steel was chosen for this project for the following reasons. Learn more on cisc.icca.ca. The RAIC announces the Honorary Fellow for 2022. The Royal Architectural Institute of Canada is proud to announce that Wanda Dalla Costa, a prominent Indigenous voice and practitioner in North American architecture, has been awarded Honorary Fellowship for 2022. Wanda Dalla Costa is a member of the Saddle Lake Cree Nation and was the first First Nation woman to become an architect in Canada. Learn more on RAIC.org. That wraps up this dispatch. I'm Foreman Fred. Thanks for watching.